Photoshop's new feature, Generative Fill, is literally just blowing my mind. You can literally change clothing on a subject with ease. You can add objects, remove objects. You might have a subject that's off-centered. You can recenter it, and with Generative Fill, the AI fills in the rest of the picture. But the way it does it, it's just really amazing. But enough talking, my name is Shai, let's jump right in. First things first, you have to have an Adobe account. Then you'll be going to apps and then go down to beta apps and then click install for Photoshop beta. And once it's done downloading, click open and then you're in. So for our first image, I want to change that white t-shirt into an actual suit. So the first thing we want to do is open up a duplicate layer. So let's go to layer, duplicate layer, and so now we have our background copy here. Then I'm gonna select my lasso tool. And I just wanna draw around the t-shirt and arms where I want the suit to go. All right, so the way this works is once you've drawn around, you wanna hit generative fill and let's just type in suit. Let's keep it real simple and then click generate. So while that's working, once it's completed, it's gonna give us three options. So let's see, let's see how good this thing looks. Ah, pretty cool. Now, I noticed the arm here on the left looks funky, but the right arm here, uh, the arm here on, or his left arm looks pretty cool. But you do have three options. So let's select here. Not bad. How about the last one? That's just really weird. So let's select that first one. I think that one's pretty cool. You can redo it. So let's say, for example, I just want this hand and this arm fixed. I'm just gonna draw around here and then generate fill again. I'm not gonna put any prompt. I'm gonna hit generate again. And let's see if it fixes that arm and that hand. Oh, huh, a little better. Let's choose a different one. Option two. Option three. Not bad. I'm going to move this down. So what we started off with was that t-shirt. And once we put the generative fill, ended up with this. Could be a little better on the hand there, but overall, I mean, we went from a t-shirt to a full-on suit. That is pretty amazing. So now I'm gonna jump into my next image. I do already have the background duplicate layers set up for my other images, so I'm just gonna jump right in. For this photo, I wanna add objects. So I'm gonna pick like a necklace. I think maybe that's what's missing on this photo. So I'm just, just gonna select my lasso tool again. And depending on how you want the necklace, if it's like a small choker or a long necklace, you want to make sure that you're actually drawing to how you want that necklace to be shaped. So I want it semi-low up to the edge of the neck here. And that's good for me. So now I'm going to click generative fill again. I'm just going to type in necklace, hit generate. And now let's see what three options we get. That is pretty cool. You could even see like the light hitting here is brighter on the edge of the necklace. So the AI is like blowing my mind right now. So let's see, there's three options. This is option two, option three. This one looks a little fake, but again, just adds the object in there for you and takes into account the lighting as well. If you notice on this side, it's a little darker because there's no sun hitting there. So I think that's just amazing. Let's also add a watch maybe. Let's just add a watch. Hit generate again. And let's see if the AI can put in a watch in there. And let's see how clean it looks. Whoa, not bad. Let's see option two, option three. Kind of like option two there and again if you notice there's not too much light hitting it so it really 
takes into account when the lighting is also hitting in the photo, which is pretty crazy. All right, so now for our next Im image, we're gonna actually remove an object. So I already have my duplicate layer in there, still using my lasso tool. And I don't want this guy in there, let's say. I just want the lion and I'm just gonna draw around him. You know, in previous versions of Photoshop, you might use content aware, you might do a bunch of different things to remove them and then try to fill in the, the lion. But let's see if we can remove him and see what the AI puts in there. So I'm just gonna draw around. All right, so I'm gonna hit generate fill, generate. Let's see how clean I can remove this guy out of this photo. Yeah, see, that's what trips me out about this and how good this thing is. It removed the guy, but it took into account to draw in the lion's legs here, the feet, his hair on, on, on the face, and also the rocks and the dust here. So really, really crazy stuff going on here. Next photo, you might want to recenter and recrop this. So I'm gonna now click crop. And so I wanna recenter here, but check this out. But I also wanna add a little length to the bottom of the photo, maybe up to here. And then I'm gonna click my selection tool here. And then I'm gonna highlight down here and then I'm gonna click generative fill no prompt just generate and let's see if the AI can draw in some legs in here I've been testing this out sometimes it looks good sometimes it doesn't so let's see how this one comes out whoa all right not bad not bad I wouldn't wear shorts that baggy and it kind of looks like I only have one leg here but we got three options so let's see what option two looks like <laughs> so it looks like I have, I'm wearing pants on one leg, shorts on the other. Let's see if the third one looks best. Mm, not bad. I think my girlfriend's leg here looks too big and mine look too skinny, but overall not bad. I think as the AI gets better, this will probably improve in time, but still blows my mind that it's actually throwing in and drawing in some legs in there and putting that image in there. So in itself, that's, that's pretty amazing. All right, and the next photo, I want to now change this from not just a vertical photo, but I want it to be horizontal in landscape. So let's see if we crop and move the crop out. Let's see what the AI will do to fill in this image. Let's go a little wider. So I'm going to highlight in here and make sure you bleed into the actual photo so the AI can read in there. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna hit Shift so I can select both sides. There you go, so we got both sides. Hit Generative Fill, no prompts. I just wanna see what the AI does. Not bad, not bad. So I really like the left side here. This looks natural. It looks like the restaurant I was actually in. I'm not too sure what's going on on the right side. I don't know what this is here uh, at the window. Let's see what the second option looks like. Pretty cool. So this still looks cool here. This looks a little bit more, uh, a little bit more realistic to what it was like when I was there, but kind of some distortion here. Let's see if third one's a charm. Nah, not, not too cool. I'll take that second one. All right, not too bad. It's not perfect, but I think as the technology gets better, it's probably gonna improve in time, but it's still blowing my mind. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please leave a comment and let me know if you want me to keep testing generative fill out and we can unlock some new features together. Remember on this channel is where we stay creative at work and in our passion projects. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.